All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to start a new topic. Before getting into a new topic, we have a do not question. Which statements regarding the function f of x is equal to negative 3x squared plus 18x minus 21 are true? Select all that apply. When written in vertex form, first of all, let me write this expression in vertex form. Remember that to be able to write this as a vertex form, we need to get, what is the a? Here, negative 3. What is B? Is 18. What is C? A is negative 21. To be able to find the vertex, x coordinate of the vertex, negative B over 2A. If we substitute negative 18 over 2 times negative 3, which is equal to negative 18 over negative 6, is equal to positive 3. This is x coordinate of vertex. Now to be able to find the y coordinate of the vertex you need to substitute this 3 into the x. Negative 3, 3 squared plus 18 times 3 minus 21 from here. 3 squared is 9, 9 times negative 3 is negative 27, 3 times 18 is positive 54 minus 21. If you combine this you will get negative 48 plus 54 which is equal to if you subtract, you will get positive 6. So, what is your vertex? Your vertex is positive 3, 6. So, let me write in vertex form. y is equal to a times x minus 8 squared plus k. What is the vertex form? y is equal to a is negative 3 times x minus 3 squared plus 6. So this is the vertex form. Now, look at this. Negative 3 x minus 3 squared plus 6. So this is correct. The vertex form is this. Uh, look at the b. No, this is not the vertex because uh, vertical shift is positive 6. So this is not true as well because negative 3 is supposed to be there. And this is not true as well. b, c, and d are not correct. What about the vertex? So we already found that vertex of this function is 3, 6. So this is also correct. A and E are the correct answer. Today we are going to learn quadratic function, quadratic formula, and discriminant. How can you use the quadratic formula to find the solution of this expression? x squared minus 7 is equal to 4x. Ladies and gentlemen, to be able to solve any quadratic function, you have to make one of the side, one side of the equation zero. This is the reason I subtract 4x from both sides. Then you will get x squared minus 4x minus 7, which is equal to zero. Let's factorize this. To be able to find the solution, we need to factorize. Do you believe that this expression can be factorable? It's not factorable. If this is not a, this is not factorable, do you believe that there is no solution? Do you believe that there is no solution? Today we are going to find the answer of this question. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have a quadratic function, to be able to understand whether there are there are any solution or not we need to use discriminant. What does that mean? y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is the general form of any quadratic function. If this is not factorable, this is not factorable, we can still find the solution. How many solutions there are, we can still find solution. How? We use discriminant. What does that mean? Discriminant is this. b squared minus 4ac. b is the number in front of the x, a is the number in front of the x squared, and c is the constant number. If discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, there are two real solutions. If this is equal to 0, there is only one real solution. If this is less than 0, there is no real solutions.
after deciding after deciding how many solutions there are we are going to use quadratic formula which is this all right let's apply this theorem into the question use the discriminant to find the number of the roots of each equation first of all x squared minus 10x plus 25 which is equal to 0 right can I factorize this of course we can but I want to use discriminant to find the number of the solution all right let's find it what was that b squared minus 4ac can you please tell me what is the a here 1 what is the b negative 10 what is c 25 when you substitute over here into the function let's find negative 10 squared minus 4 times what is a positive 1 times what is c 25 negative 10 squared is positive 100 minus 4 times 25 is 100 then this is equal to 0 if discriminant is equal to 0 how many solutions there are there are only one real solution what is this I am not going to use a discriminant I'm not going to use quadratic formula because x squared minus 10 x plus 25 which is equal to 0 is factorable let's factorize this this is negative 5 negative 5 which is x minus 5 times x minus 5 which is equal to 0 this can be written x minus 5 square which is equal to 0 means x is equal to 5 is only one real solution and this is x is equal to 5 what about this negative x square minus 6x minus 10 is equal to 0 when you try to solve this question you will notice that this is not factorable if this is not factorable do you believe that there's no solution no we are going to use discriminant before that what is a negative 1 what is b negative 6 what is c negative 10 let's apply the discriminant first b squared minus 4 ac b is negative 6 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times negative 10 from here negative 6 squared is positive 36 negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 positive 4 times negative 10 is negative 40 if you subtract this you will get negative 4 which is less than 0 if discriminant is less than 0 you can say that there is no real solution next solve the equation x squared plus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0 first of all I want to determine what a is what b is what c is after that I would like to use this command b squared minus 4 ac b is 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 if you calculate this you will get 64 minus 4 which is equal to 60 greater than 0 which means that there are two real solutions now what are they to be able to find those solutions we are going to use quadratic formula what is the quadratic formula there are going to be two solutions x1 and 2 what are they minus b plus minus in the radical b squared minus 4ac in radical over 2a this is the your radical form let's substitute all the information x1 and 2 there are two solutions that's why I'm writing them as a x1 and 2 minus b what was the b 8 minus 8 plus minus I already found b squared minus 4 ac what is this 60 radical 60 
over 2 times 1, which is 2. After that, let me simplify this. x1 and 2 is equal to negative 8. How can you simplify the 60? 60 is multiple of 2 factor. What are the 2 factors? Uh, 2 times 30. 2 times 30. 4 times 15. Yes, 4 times 15. Plus minus 4 times 15 over 2. Can I write this x1, 2? Negative 8 plus minus. How can you get the 4 out of the root? Is it 2? Radical 15 over 2. Now, what is my final answer? x1, which means that first root is minus 8 plus 2 radical 15 over 2. x2 is, which means that second root, minus 8 minus radical 2 radical 15 over 2. When you simplify this, you will get x1 is equal to negative 4 plus radical 15. x2 is negative 4 minus radical 15 over 1. This is two solutions. Next one. 2x squared minus 24x minus 4 is equal to 0. To be able to find, to be able to find how many solutions there are, we need to apply this comment, this comment first. A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 24, C is equal to negative 4. If you use B squared minus 4AC, you can understand that negative 24 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 4. From here, ladies and gentlemen, from here, you can get that 24 square is equal to 576. 4 times 2, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 8 negative 8 times negative 4, positive 32. If you add them up, you will get 600. This is greater than zero, which means that there are two real solution. solutions. Now, what are those solutions? We are going to find this. What are those solutions? I'm erasing this part. Yes, I'm erasing this part because we already saw this. I am going to use the quadratic formula. If you use the quadratic formula, you will get that x1 to is going to be, what is it, b? Negative. Negative, negative is going to positive 24 plus minus in the radical. What was the uh, discriminant? 608 over 2 times 2 is 4. Now we need to factorize 608 x1 2 is going to be 24 plus minus 608 608 what are the factors 4 times 152 16 times 38 I think 16 times 38 is, yes, 16 times 38. Yes, you can write 16 times 38 over 4. Let's simplify. x1 is going to be 24 plus minus 16 can be taken out of the root as a 4 radical 38 over 4. If you simplify all the expression by 4, you will get that x1 and 2 which means that first root and the second root second root are 6 plus minus radical 38 and this is your solution next question 
as I told you, if you have a quadratic function, you have to make one of the equation, one of the side of the equation, zero. This is the reason subtract 7 from both sides, x squared minus 4, x minus 7 is equal to zero. Now, let's find what a is, what b is, what c is. a is 1, b is negative 4, c is negative 7. Now, we need to use discriminant, b squared minus 4ac to be able to determine how many solutions there are. Substitute b value negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 7. Negative 4 squared will be positive 16. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 7 is plus 28. If you add them up, you will get 44, which is greater than 0, which means that there are two real solutions. What are they? To be able to find the real solution, we are going to use quadratic formula. Let me remind you one more time. Quadratic formula is negative b plus minus radical b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Let's find those groups. I know what b is. B is negative 4, substitute negative, negative is positive 4, minus plus. I already know what is the discriminant for the 4 over 2 times a, 2 to a is 1, 2. 44 can be, fact, you can fi find the factors, you can find the factors of the 44 as a 4 times 11. x1 to 4 plus minus. 4 times 11, 4 times 11 over 2. If we simplify the radical, x1 and 2 is going to 4 plus minus 4 can be taken out of the root as a 2 radical 11 over 2. Now, your answer is going to become, your answer is going to become x1, which means that first root, if we simplify by 2, at the same time, 2 plus radical 11. Second root is 2 minus radical 11. And these are your solutions. All right. How many solutions are there to the following quadratic equation? Use the discriminant, discriminant to determine your answer. All right. Can you please tell me what is A here in this question? Three. What is the B? Five. What is the C? Is four. What was the discriminant? B square minus four AC. When you substitute the values into the expression, B is five square minus four times A is three times four. From here, five square is 24, 25 minus four times three is twelve. Twelve times four is forty-eight. When you subtract this, you will get that negative 7, negative uh, 23, which is less than 0, means no real solutions.